Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kyra if you're new here and back in June 2023 I was traveling Scotland with my mum aka Masha. We were on a Highlands tour and this was our second day of the tour. The stunning Highland scenery really got underway here around Glencoe. The entire drive here we listened to Stephen our tour guide tell us about the brutal history of this area in what is now called the Glencoe Massacre in 1692. Even though the area has such a dark past all of us were pretty awestruck by the natural beauty of the landscape. This turned out to be a pretty harsh juxtaposition between the graphic stories we were just told and the pretty views right in front of us. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Let's turn around because that's the view. It is June 29th. Hey guys. Hi guys. We are in Glencoe. We're learning all about the history of Glencoe today. Very dark history actually. It is. But look at the view. This is Glencoe which means the weeping mountains because when it rains you get all these waterfalls coming down the mountain range. This is the three sisters here behind us and absolutely beautiful views in the highlands today. We're gonna get beautiful views all day, eh? Hey. And look at Masha's new glasses. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Next on the agenda, our guide Stephen made sure to get us to the Glenfinnan Viaduct in time to see the infamous steam train pass by which was used in the Harry Potter films. Besides the train, this area has stunning views of Loch Shiel and the Highlands. Loch Loki and Loch Loki. Loch Loki and the water is full of tannins which makes it look like tea or coffee water. Yes. It's, it's so this pretty. Beautiful color. Yes. Love it. One stop for today. Now Loch Ness is incredible. We'll see a little bit of it today, we see half of our on Saturday. Oh. They are big. Right? And welcome to the town of Loch Ness. Sorry, I'm eating my words. This is Fort Augustus, where Loch Ness is located, but it's called Fort Augustus. We're gonna have our lunch stop here and a little wander around. It's tummy. Do you even wanna have lunch? Yeah, I'm hungry. Asha, over the viaduct. We're excited to have a lunch stop. I'm quite hungry today and lovely sunny lunch break. This is lunch. Masha's got soup 
and a whole sandwich. Mm. Bon appetit! After a full morning of sightseeing, we stopped in Fort Augustus Town to have our lunch. This town is adjacent to the very famous Loch Ness. We went to a busy cafe and had some really yum food actually. There were so many tourists here. Of course, because of the famous Loch Ness, it's a popular destination and one of the top things to do here is obviously go out on the lake and hear the folklore about the Loch Ness Monster. How am I doing there with the pronunciation of Loch, by the way? Masha and I are undecided on this Loch Ness Monster malarkey, but what do you think about it? Any crews, you'll get up closer to them. Don't worry, you'll get to interact with some hairy crews at some point. At this point, the scenic views were stunning wherever we went, but this scenic lookout was absolutely breathtaking. It's located close to the popular Elendonan Castle, and the area is well known for being the place where three lochs meet. Carbray viewpoint. <laughs> Looking great. I'm so short. <laughs> There's no Jesus Mother Mary where he goes. <laughs> Now this castle isn't all original, it's a restored version of the original Alindonan castle. We decided not to go inside because the admission was kind of pricey and I was honestly very happy with the view from the outside. This is Eileen Cannon Castle, one of the most famous castles in Scotland. But it's not an authentic one! Yeah, no, it was redone Recreation. in 1929. Recreation. Or 1920? 1928 or something. Or 1929? Yeah. Okay! Okay! We continued on to drive to the Sky Bridge, which is a free to cross bridge and connects the mainland to the Isle of Skye. Sky oh! I love this song! Hi, Outlander. Outlander. Now, I was most excited to see the scenery on the Isle of Skye, so crossing this bridge onto the island was such a good feeling. Even the grey skies didn't damper my excitement, so we drove directly to Portree, which is the largest town and the capital of the Isle, and it was our final destination for the night. Everybody, welcome to Poetry on the Isle of Skye. I'm so excited to be here on the Isle of Skye. I am an Outlander fan. If you know Outlander, it's based in Scotland. Back in the 1700s, the main character goes to the Isle of Skye and it's just a beautiful island from what we've mm -hmm. seen so far. Absolutely stunning. We're staying at this really quaint little hotel, which the reception doubles as a pub and a restaurant. <laughs> so we had to walk through a rammed pub, absolutely chocked full of people and the restaurant absolutely chock full. We had to dodge waitresses and plates of food to get up to our room here at the Tongadale Hotel. So that's where we're actually going to have dinner. Masha made reservations about four months ago now in March when she booked the hotel because yeah the tour pre-warned us it was going to be rammed. A lot of the tours stop here. Big tour buses come through. Of course the locals want to have a pint after work. It's about 6 30 now. We pulled into Portree. We are absolutely exhausted. Today yeah. was an amazing day but we saw so much, did so much. We're so tired, ready for a good night's sleep. So we're having dinner at seven. Literally, I'm just gonna go to bed. The whole town, it's like a village, really. It's so small, everything's shut anyway. There's not really much to do or see tonight. 
So I'll see some stuff perhaps tomorrow. We may be doing a seal boat tour, which is exciting. Yeah. But I'll show you guys a bit of what we have for dinner. Hopefully it's really yummy. And I will catch you guys tomorrow on the 30th of June. Oh, I can't believe we're already on day three of the tour. It's going by so nice. And we've made really great friends with the guide, Steven. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, wait, before I go, check out the 30 second room tour because it's literally just a room. Here we go. That's the front door. We got a mirror. We got a little baby twin, a nice desk in the middle, and another twin. We've got Masha here. We've got a little bathroom that looks like it's almost like a toilet on a train or something. It's just so, I don't know, devoid of any kind of design or anything. So that is the room for tonight. Okay, now for real. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Hi guys. Good morning. Good it is morning. the 30th of June today and we have the entire day here on the Isle of Skye. It's raining though. Mm. Very wet weather and hard visibility so. No that's sh showstopper. It's raining. No kidding. It's Scotland. Yeah but raining and cloudy and misty so yeah. Then I go like this. Oh yeah, I can see clearly. <laughs> <laughs> This is where the road collapsed before. Oh, baby. Look at me sometimes, like all you want to do is run. Hear me out, hear me out. Somehow I'm walking in the rain in Scotland on top of a mountain. This landscape is pretty unique. The only other place I've seen something similar is Iceland. <laughs> Especially that view behind me. That's pretty spectacular. <laughs> the rain stopped just in time to take some epic pictures here in this stunning landscape. as well actually you're a cutie aren't you <laughs> at the last stop we got dumped on and everybody is absolutely soaking wet i made the dumb decision to wear jeans they're gonna take forever to dry but when we got to this stop 
the Museum of Island Life. We saw some hairy coos, which is the long-haired cattle here in Scotland. So that was nice. And thankfully it's not raining here, but yeah, absolutely dumped on. The very lightweight waterproof jacket is not waterproof. It started leaking through the jacket. I'm all wet. Uh Cutie. I've got another couple of uh, call Don't share it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't deserve it. Share it, share it. Well, it'll report. It goes out to the outer heavy media. There are the things I want to know. Secrets start in your heart so slow. But if you don't want to tell. I'd like to invite you to my Scottish wedding. Pretty scenic place for a wedding. What's happening? Don't stand over there and day for your pot your kelp for once in your life. <laughs> she breaks her nose, she breaks her jaw, and she loses an eye. <laughs> <laughs> they put her in the emergency wedding gown. Put a veil on her. Stand up, face the love of your life. Now, to get married, Shrek lifts the veil, sees the mangled face, draws his sword, and tries to kill Fiona. Fiona flees from the church. Right, you stay there, you're done. Right, come on, everyone else, follow me, we're not done yet. Come on! Excuse me, excuse me, you're in there. Fiona is heartbroken after the love of her life is just trying to murder her. Fiona looks up and sees the fairy king. The fairy king explains the Gaffin River is the fountain of youth. If Fiona places her face in the water for seven <laughs> seconds, her beauty will be magically restored. Oh my god! Let her get swept away. Oh my god, what is he doing? One, two, two three, four, four, five, four, 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 five, <laughs> five seven, seven. seven. I just dipped my face in the water. <laughs> Thank you. Stop 15 minutes to take some photos. Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth. You just have to hold it for seven seconds. We've made it to Plockton and we're gonna do a seal boat trip. So there we go. Not raining right now. Hopefully it stays that way. Feeling fresh face still from dunking my face in the freezing cold water. Thank you. 
everybody and welcome to Inverness. We have a concert going on across from where our accommodation is tonight but we made it into our bed and breakfast tonight for two nights in Inverness which is lovely because I'm tired of moving around all the time one night one night one night. So we've got two nights here and check out this cute quaint little B&B. Okay this is our room we've got two nice little twin beds here. I like the seating area and the room actually is a very generous size. It's quite nice. And let me show you what's happening across the way here. The base is actually thumping our hotel because it's an old house. So I thought that was quite funny. All right, and then we have the toilet. Had to look for the light there. <laughs> here it is. Kind of a long and narrow hardwood floor toilet. Very interesting and the world's smallest sink. Um. Look who it is. Hi! It's Hi. Masha! <laughs> I was hiding in the background, but it's so nice to be here and so nice that it's two nights. And our tour drive, our tour guide is just down the street. He made it so much more easier because I booked kind of far away from the city center. But he dropped us off. Yeah. He so did yeah. us a solid and dropped us off. And yeah. I just wanted to quickly debrief. We're going to go for dinner with two ladies on the tour who are lovely sisters. Yeah. But we had an awesome day today despite the wet weather. We got absolutely soaked. We were soaked. It was raining most of the day. Yeah. And I literally got soaked because I soaked my head in a freezing cold river. Yeah. You'll see some footage on that. Or maybe you already you have. You have. And that was so much fun. But we're so tired all the time. We get into this Harry Koo van and we are like passing out. We're, yeah. we're falling asleep. You're falling asleep. I'm asleep. It's something else. The Scotland air. Yeah, it is. Oh, tired. Scotland air and the driving. But and the scenery today on the Island of Sky was incredible. I'd love to go back one day again, mm -hmm. see it in better weather so that we see all of the mountains because a lot of it was covered by low laying cloud. So something to go back to Scotland for, though. Not really mad about it. Nope, not at all. Yeah, but we'll talk to you guys at dinner. Bye. Bye. Yes, please. Yes, please. And any Parmesan cheese? Yes, please. Yeah. 
and that wraps up our time on the Isle of Skye. What a fantastic first experience. The scenery there is incredible and I do wish we had more time there to try have a more dry day to explore. But that's the gamble with a group tour. You don't have the freedom to stay longer somewhere in case of bad weather. It's definitely high on my list to visit again one day and take in more of the epic otherworldly views. After being a good sport and dunking my face in a freezing cold river for the plot, we said goodbye to the Isle of Skye and drove to Plockton. We had a really nice scenic boat ride and saw so many playful seals. It was really cute. We ended our day in Inverness, the largest city in the Scottish Highlands, where we checked into our bed and breakfast for the next two nights. If you like this video, then please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!